Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you guys here. Appreciate you being here. You're the reason uh, I'm here. I want you guys to be successful with your career path, and uh, that's what I'm trying to help you with. Uh, today we're going to talk about some misconceptions about programming and there are plenty of misconceptions out there about programming and some of these can be really discouraging and they may make you stay completely away from anything related to coding or programming. Some of these misconceptions are because of some myths that are surrounding programming and these myths can make it seem as if this is an intimidating field to enter. It's time to let you in on a few of those secrets about programming and put those myths to rest. Myth number one. Programmers are shut-ins who work in a dark room with huge monitors and never talk to anyone. While a few of these programmers may exist, they are the exception to the rule. The majority of programmers work normal hours in offices and they enjoy social lives outside of work. And big monitors are just cool, so that's out of the question. Yo man, I'm programming. Yeah, don't mess with me. I'm on my big monitor and I'm programming. Yeah, I'm busy right now, man. <laughs> Number two, you have to be good at math or be a genius to be a programmer. Well, being good at math or being a genius might be helpful. It is by no means necessary for you to be a programmer. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be good at math. What is important is that you're able to approach a problem or a task logically. Thinking logically is a skill like any other skill, and you can develop it through practice. Yes, yes, I'm one of the smartest people I know. I am uh, pretty equivalent to Terence Tao, a boy genius whose IQ is well over 200. I think I'm a great programmer, and I always will be because of my intelligence and my mathematician skills. <laughs> well, let's go to number three. It's too late to learn. This one is simply wrong. It is never too late to learn. The Council for Adult and Experimental Learning has found that adult learners often have their outcomes better because they are more focused and motivated to make a change. So, this is the one that is really a fallacy. It's fake. It's not real. You're never too old. I'm here for the programming job. Got some kick. Yep. I'm ready to go. Tell me where to begin. I'll be happy to help you with the programming. It's a little cold in here. I think you need to turn the heat up a little. I'm sorry, what? Programming. Yep. I can program my remote for my TV. <laughs> All right. Myth number four, programming is not a creative field. Programming is another form of creative expression. There is no one right way to write a piece of code. Programming is inherently a creative act that's all about finding interesting ways to solve problems. Programming languages are just another language, like any other language. And if you can think of five different ways to say something, then you can write code five different ways and that do all the same things. So it is creative. Yes, 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 I'm a great programmer because I'm so creative. <laughs> That's what I do. I create, I make. That's all I had ever done is create. So I know how to be creative. I know all the languages, every single one of them. So where do I start? Let's go. Myth number five. Programmers know everything and have all the language subtleties and nuances memorized. Well, that'd be nice if it were true. Most programmers don't have every aspect of the programming language memorized. They have several tools that help them along the way. There are help functions. Editors will organize or color code and programs called delenters that search your code for potential issues. Even with those helpful tools, programmers of every experience level routinely make mistakes. Everyone runs into problems and bugs they can't solve. Often when this happens, they will use search engines like Google and reach out to communities of programmers on Slack or Overflow. The community of programmers is a very large group of people and they often help each other a lot. Moreover, lines of code are shared online everyone to use. 
that often makes it possible to code and reuse blocks of code to solve the same problems. So there's a lot of copy and paste there. So anybody can do that. So no, coders do not work based on their memory alone. And at the end of the day, programmers are people just like you and me uh, that develop logical thinking skills and are able to apply these skills to write code. Yeah, man, what are you doing back? I'm busy, I'm programming, man. I'm the best there is. That's because I know everything. I've learned all the languages. I don't need any help from the community. I've learned all of them. I've memorized all the subtleties and the nuances. I know what I'm doing here. That's why I get paid the big bucks. So ciao. So now that we put some of these myths about programming to rest, hopefully with some good acting to demonstrate how crazy some of these are. <laughs> I hope you're ready to learn to program with confidence. Uh, these myths mean nothing. Check out clairesway.com. They are amazing. They're great. They can help you get that six-figure income you're looking for. Uh, you can take a course, uh, which is either six months to nine months. They're amazing. They help you every step of the way. They help you help to place you in a job. They are fantastic. Uh, really great company. I love working for them. They're great. So check out clairesway.com. They'll be able to answer all your questions about getting that six-figure income. And if you're serious about changing your life for the better or creating uh, your dream business, getting your dream job, and living the lifestyle that you've always wanted, then follow me. Let me help you. Let me show you how. I'm here to help. Your career will thank you. You will be a better you. Please let me know in the comments how you feel. Thank you for spending time here. You could have been anywhere else on the planet, but you chose to be here with me. Thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss another one of these awesome videos. Uh, check out uh, my uh, other channels on uh, TikTok and Instagram.